I am live. What's up, guys? It is Thursday, not 5 o'clock, because Colombia is playing against Brazil, so I have to watch that game. Uh, but I'm doing an early IG Live with my first agent on my team, Tara Dustar. And we're going to talk about her successes, her struggles. We're going to talk about how why she came into, her, uh, uh, into real estate. So I'm really excited to have her. She's going to join in a second. Give, us me, give me one second. Uh, we also have Katie Jack here, a new agent that's coming on my team in December. What's up, Katie Jack? Uh, what's up, uh, Celeste? Como estas? Uh, next Home Level Design, amazing staging company that did Alana. All right, let me get uh, Tara on here. Here we go. What's up, Jay? What's up, Mark? Hello, hello. All right, I just added Tara. What's up? Hey. Hi, Tara. Can you hear me? You're breaking up over there. Is that me or is that you? Oh, can you hear me now? Hello, hello. I don't know. Can you hear me now? Uh, your reception is kind of bad over there. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Wait, one minute. Can you get into a better spot? Yeah. Thank you. It's a better Beautiful year. Beautiful day out there, huh? It's sunny. It's warm. I know. Hey, everybody. Is it better here? All right. Better? Um, it's still kind of bad, and and yeah, it's right. still it's still really grainy. All right. Me too. Hello, hello, Katie Jack. Uh, let's see here. Who else is here? Anastasia, Anastasia, Douglas Elliman. Hola, bien. Celeste, where are you going? To, I think, Celeste, you're, you're going to be out of town in January or December. Where are you going? Ellie, what's up? Alex from our team. What's up, Alex? We're going to be on next week. I'm so excited. All right. You're back inside? Yeah. Okay. That's good. All right. So Tara is the first agent of the Paul Salazar group. So excited to have her. She Thank just you. joined uh, probably a little bit over a month ago. Mm -hmm. And so what draw you, what drew you into uh, selling real estate? What was the reason? Yeah, so I came from entertainment, as I'm sure some of you people know. Hey, everybody. Um, and, and something that drew me into real estate, you know, Paul and I have always had this discussion. It's really just about, I think, doing something for me, for myself. You know, throughout my entire career, throughout my entire life, I was constantly doing things to make sure everybody you know, got the best results from my work. Yeah. So now I think it's time for me to actually, you know, get the best results for myself, <laughs> you know, doing the work. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's, you know, really what I've been focusing on this entire month training with you, Paul. It's really just about putting in all the effort yeah. um, to get the results that you want. And it's been, yeah. it's been crazy. You know, I've been working like nonstop, it feels like, but it's worth it. Because it's all for yeah. me at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And it's a great business because it's not like anything else where, you know, like if you open up, like we were saying today, like a, like a, like a coffee shop or yeah. like, I don't know, any other kind of business where you have to have a lot of capital. Mm -hmm. the, the, the beautiful thing about real estate is that you don't need a lot of capital. You need the skills, right, to sell. And this is why you're on the team to learn from me to learn from you know all the resources that that we have as a team mm -hmm. but at some point you're going to go off on your own right and it's gonna be great like I'm, I'm super excited for you and your and your business um we got some people here that said hi or love love it Tara. is that your friend ellie that's my friend uh, hi ellie what's up <laughs> ellie how are you um so true. now a lot of your friends are are starting to realize oh tara's in real estate I know. Um, which is amazing that's great so yeah. Uh, you're from LA, which is one of the things that really drew me to you mm -hmm. as a potential agent, right? Because as a team leader, I'm looking for somebody that has some kind of advantage, right? Like if you were just brand new to LA, and you don't know anything, and it was, it'd be a little bit tougher for you. You have a great sphere, you have a great, uh, you know, your, all your family's here, which is amazing. So that's going to definitely help you in your business. Um, what are some of the, the struggles? Uh, we'll, we'll talk about the wins, which I, I know what they are, but what are, are some of the struggles that you're having as a new agent in the, in, this, in the industry? Yeah, you know, I think as a new agent, it's hard for people to uh, maybe trust you and yeah. take, you, take you seriously, um, you know, because obviously there are tons of agents out there with years and years of experience. So why would they list with you? Why would they you know, be looking at homes with you. But I think that's really the advantage of being on your team. 
Yeah. Um, you know, because you have 15 years of experience mm -hmm. and you're able to teach me. And it's almost like, you know, like you're giving me that, that whole entire like library of knowledge that you have yes. and you're, you know, so, yes. so now I think, you know, people are beginning to, um, you know, see that and, and it's not, listen, we're in a luxury, we're in the top luxury agency in the entire world, like Hilton yeah. and Hyatt, you know, yeah. that in itself, I think it's really impressive to people. And it's yeah. like, um, yeah, they're, they're, they're definitely, you know, now a little more, I think, now I feel a little more reputable. For sure. For sure. Yeah, 100%. And I think that's a great point for there's a lot of agents on on here that are new agents. And they always wonder, hey, should I go on my own? Should I join mm -hmm. a team? You know, what should I do? Like, which, which, which brokerage? I think the most important thing as a new agent is mentorship, having somebody that really cares and that, that, that really wants to help you out, right? Obviously, I, you know, I want to build a team because I'm able to scale and do more business. Um, but I also just love it. Like I, I love to help people out. And I think it just, it, it's, it's, gr it's great to, me to mentor you because I'm not only helping you, but I'm helping myself. So it's just a win-win all around. And, and you're just learning, like, you're, like, like you said, like I have you know, 15 years of experience and you're learning all that in the next few months. And now in like five months or six months from now, you, you're gonna have all that in your head. And obviously you'll just learn more. And I'm also learning from you guys as well, which is, which is great. Um, so let's talk about your wins. Um, I think, I think, well, I'll, I'll talk about your wins and then you can <laughs> okay. elaborate about that. Um, we got some people that have joined Jailbird pictures. I think I know who that is. <laughs> um, we also have Ruya, a new agent on our team. Hi, Ruya. Uh, hi, Ruya. Um, so one of Tara's strengths, and I didn't know this until probably two weeks ago, uh, when she hosted an open house at one of my new listings, she booked three, is it three appointments or two appointments? She booked three appointments in one open house. I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? That was amazing. <laughs> um, so she has a superpower, which is open houses. Um, right now, all of our listings are under contract, except for one, which is a condo, which is not a great open house listing. But, you know, in the future, you know, she's going to be doing more open houses and really just booking more and more appointments, which is amazing. So tell us what what made it so easy for you to book appointments at open houses? Like, that that's great. I mean, I think it's super easy for me to just talk to people. And sometimes that's all people want, you know, they want somebody to approach them in like a friendly way, ask them questions, make them feel they're important and special. You know, a lot of people walk into these open houses, not expecting, I think, to just have a conversation. Yeah. Um, they're also walking in without agents. So maybe it's something yeah. they're looking for, keeping in the back of their mind, hoping they find one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it always starts off with, casual conversation and then once i get to know people a little more i would ask more questions getting a little more specific and you know like you always say the best thing to offer somebody is information yeah so if value. i could provide them exactly value so if i could provide that to them i think you know they would they would receive it well yeah for sure so take us through that step because i didn't really teach you that i mean i, I did a little bit but like you caught on really fast and obviously yeah. You've you've been in the in, in, in entertainment business for a long time, mm -hmm. and you know uh, you you you've uh, worked as a casting director, so mm -hmm. you know how to talk to people, right? right? And you know how to sell, right? That's 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 what, what we do here. But but take us down, like, what's your mindset when you talk to somebody? Like, what's what are you looking for? Sure, I mean the intention is obviously always to get them to be my client, but I don't want. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't want them to know that just yet, Yeah, you know? So that's why, like I said, I start off with that casual conversation, um, you know, and, and I, I enable them to just really open up. Yeah. And that's not necessarily from trying to sell them immediately. Yeah. You know, it's creating yeah. a friendship. It's creating that trust. Yeah. Um, which is like the best part of this industry because, you know, I'm sure half of it is networking yeah. and it really is becoming friends with your clients. Um, yeah, so I think, you know, obviously that's a big part of it. And like I said, just making people feel special, <laughs> you know, like undivided attention. Sure. Yeah. And I think that's a great point. Undivided attention. Tom Ferry always talks about when you're at the house and you're talking to somebody and there's people mm -hmm. coming in and out, you right. only focus on them. And yeah. then that, that makes them feel uh, uh, special as well. It's just right. having that dead eyes, you know, just dead um, eye contact with them and not being like, oh, hi, how are you? Please sign in. No, 
you're just having a conversation with them. Yeah. Eye yeah. contact, touch, you know, laugh a bit, be just be personal. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It's not it's not that hard. I mean, like you obviously showed us that it's not that hard, but you also have to kind of you know, think, you know, like, what would I want if I was at an open house? I wouldn't want somebody trying to sell me, you know. Um, and look, I'm, I'm getting a bunch of followers now. Are these your follow your, your friends, Riley? Yeah. And John? Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's talk about um, your lead pillars, right? So we're, we're working on it on your geo farm, right? So Tom always talks about having four lead pillars, four sources of where your leads are coming from. I think it's really, really important yeah. for a new agent to understand is that you don't want to just focus on one thing like oh i just want to focus on you know getting leads from from my family or or my sphere of, of influence you want to focus on four different things that way you get a few deals from here a few deals from here and then here and here instead of just just one source right and the in the bigger agents are, are now getting you know five or six lead pillars but they have more support and that just takes time to get there but in the beginning you have four so let's talk about your four lead pillars. One is GeoFarm. Let's talk about how we found your GeoFarm and talk about your GeoFarm as well. Yeah, sure. So as you know, I'm from this area, so I think I have a pretty good sense of the city. Um, I've always been interested in like little homey area. I think the houses there are so beautiful. So I wanted to start looking there to potentially, you know, set my GeoFarm. And when we did, we found some like amazing homes. The turnover rate was pretty high. And what is it? It was six, 6.8. Yeah, so almost 7% when the average is around 4 to 5%. Yeah. So it's much higher chance of her getting a sale in an area that has a high turnover rate. And I think that was one of the main things that we were looking for is an area that had a high turnover rate in an area that had higher end sales. Because Tara has to split the deals with me. And so we're, we're very upfront about this kind of stuff, right? So it's like, I want her to succeed. I want her to make a lot of money. So why is she going to be looking at $1 million sales? Which I know in other areas, it's a lot. But over here, it's not, right? She has to split that commission with me, right? So why not look at an area that's, that's doing six or 10 or 12, or, you know, what's the highest price sell in the area? Oh gosh, there is one that was like, like 30. Yeah, $30 yeah. million, dollars, right? Yeah. So she's gonna go door knocking that area. She's so gonna start mailing that area, just start calling that area, um, maybe doing some, some open houses in that, in that area, um, eventually when you have, when you have a listing. Um, so that is amazing. I'm glad that you found a great geo farm, um, and I'm 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 excited to I'm see excited you know, to what see what uh, what comes from it. Yeah, definitely. It's just like you know, go big. Why not? Yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, so geo farm is done. Um, you started calling expired and cancels this week, which I know right. for me, I mean, you you guys are amazing. By the way, you and Alex and and Bria, like you guys do stuff, and I feel like it's it's women because like I feel like guys, or maybe just me. We have a hesitation to do things that are uncomfortable. At least, at least that's my experience. But you know, when I was been, when I've been looking for agents to to join my team, I haven't really found a guy. It's all, always been women, you know. And they just, you know, I'm, I'm going to hire whoever I think is best fit. It doesn't matter if it's a guy or or a woman. But I really love the fact that, you know, when I said, "Hey, we got to call expired and cancels," they were like, "All right, let's do it." And there's no problem. You know, right. for me, it was like literally a three or three or four month process of like, I got to call expired. No, 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 no. You know, well, like, it's not easy at all. I mean, yeah. I've gotten hung up on like six times today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's it doesn't feel good. Island. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't feel good, right? But you know what? Like, whatever. You don't know them. They don't know you. Like, yeah. you can't really take it personally. You just have yeah. to keep moving on. You have to keep calling. You have to keep calling. Right. Right. What happens from now on when somebody hangs up on you? I'm giving them a call back. <laughs> hell yeah. Hell yeah. You're going to give them a call back. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Yeah. You so what's, what's been the biggest objection in the, the first two days of, of expireds that, that you've uh, encountered? Yeah. I mean, obviously one is just like, we're not selling anymore. I'm very, you know, sticking to the price. And if you can't, if I can't get that price, I don't want it. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's a big, I'm not selling or, you know, uh, a lot of people go back to the same agent they were working with, which is just just crazy to me, it seems like, because if they couldn't sell it the first time around in this hot seller's market, why would they think that they could do it, you know, the second time around? So, it, Yeah, it's crazy. So talking about those two objections, and first, I, I, I got to say hi to my boy, Joe Kotosh from, from Compass Chicago. He's oh. out. He says, what's the scoop, Paul? Hearing big news coming. 
Uh, he's, he's always funny. Um, anyway. Are you pregnant? Uh, <laughs> Are you pregnant? <laughs> maybe. You, you, you never know. You never know. Um, but so talking about those two objections, right? So the first one was, I, I'm not going to sell unless I get my price. And listen, there's a reason why their house did not sell. 90% of the time, it's, it's the price. But also the agent, too. I mean, it, I, I, I look at plenty of expired listings, and, and, and you do, too. And you look at the marketing, it's very, very poor. Very, very poor. And the, and the, and the presentation is very poor. So that has a lot to do as, uh, with it as well. But price is probably one of the most important things, obviously. And, um, you know, when you're dealing with the, with the seller like that, you know, it's like, I totally understand, you know, I, you know, we have a buyer looking in this area, would love to, you know, come and preview it and just set the appointment, right? That's the whole goal of these calls is just to agree with them, with the seller and set the appointment, right? We're not trying to argue with them, well, your price too high. You never want to say that. Or you, you know, you never want to, you know, come to them with any kind of like negative comment. It's always just positive. Oh, I totally understand. And, you know, it sucks that you, you, you were on the market for six months and you couldn't sell in the hottest seller's market. Mm -hmm. I totally get that. Why don't we get together for 15, 20 minutes? I'll show you exactly what I've done for 10 other sellers just like you uh, mm -hmm. in the last year that were on the market for six or 12 months like you that, that could not sell. We came with a new approach and we got it sold on average for 30 days. Right. So, you know, would it be okay if I got your home sold in the next 30 days? And, you right. know, yeah, it reels them in. Yeah, it right. Them in. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And then the other objection was, um, what was the other objection you said? There are a few, but I think working with the same agent. Working with the same agent, them. yes. A lot of are the you... times they have relationships with them, and, you know, they're, they, they're friends, which is great, but doesn't mean they always... That's do. always a tough one. That's yeah. always a tough one, you know, especially when they have a close relationship with an agent. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, hey, Mr. Seller, are you, are you willing to lose tens of thousands of dollars? They're going to say no to that, right? So we, we always want to ask questions that we know what the answer is going to be. And we, and we kind of lead them down the, the road, right, to the appointment. And so you ask that question, or you can also ask, you know, what new marketing plan does your agent have that, 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 did, that, that, did, that didn't work last time, right? They're not going to do a new marketing plan. It's going to be the same marketing plan, the same photos. And they're going to expect different results. So, you know, Mr. Seller, you know, I'm going to call you back in six months from now when your house comes back off the market. And the more time your house stays on the market, the less money it's worth in the eyes of the buyer, right? Are you, are you willing to lose, to lose tens of uh, thousands of dollars? No. Great. That's exactly why we have to get together. I'll be in your area this week around four o'clock, whatever. Let's, let's meet, right? Right. Yeah. Okay, so expired and cancels. Let's move on to the next lead pillar, your sphere of influence. And I know yesterday was your 30th birthday, so happy birthday <laughs> to Clara. Um, sorry, I just threw your freaking, uh, your, your, uh, your age out there. That's okay. Um, but That's 30s are the best. Be my best decade, yeah, exactly. 30s are the best. I'm, I'm, very, I'm getting into my 40s now, so I'm like, fuck. I'm, I'm, I'm sad to leave my 30s because they were fun. And yeah, you know, okay. at least the end of my 30s now, I'm seeing like the shift of like, man, I'm starting to make some good money and building my business is so exciting, you know? And so that's, you're just in the beginning stages of that. Um, so let's talk about your success yesterday uh, on your birthday and, and what you did differently than what you probably would have done before. Right. Um, so yeah, yesterday I was getting a whole bunch of texts and calls from people that I haven't spoken to in a while that are reaching out, you know, and they happen to mention, oh, like, look, you're in real estate now which is now all of a sudden, you know, the most uh, interesting part about me. Yeah. So yeah. I said, yeah, you know, and a lot of my friends are looking to buy their first home. You know, we're in this like age group where people are now looking. Um, so, you know, I've decided to kind of just take advantage of that. I've made, you know, sure. three or four dates next weekend or next week rather to see, yeah, to see friends that I haven't seen in a while. And, you know, we're going to talk about real estate and I'm going to book some appointments. <laughs> Let's go. What? Fuck yeah. I love that. I love that. Yeah, like, why not, right? Like, they're, they're reaching out to you, say happy birthday. You guys have a, a short little conversation. Let's meet up, right? Let's meet up and just have a chat. And it's yeah. just like, we're not trying to sell them. We're just trying to, like, like if they want to buy, we want right. to help them out. But we also want to talk about our, you know, our new, you know, like your new industry, your new career, right. and like how we help people out. Because that's what we do. We just want to help people out. And if you come, if you come to it 
with that kind of feeling of like, I want to help you out, then everything is going to just be fine. Exactly. Everything's going to be fine. All right, cool. So I'm looking forward for you to booking two buyer uh, appointments by next Thursday. Yay. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so your next lead pillar is open house. Obviously, already have great success with that, and you're going to have more success with that. Obviously, right now, we don't have the listings that are on, active on the market for you to do those uh, open houses. Um, but, you know, obviously, your goal is to do at least two open houses per month and mm -hmm. obviously get, you know, maybe two or three buyer appointments per month and maybe two or three listing appointments per month. Because a lot of the times when people come to an open house, they're next door neighbors. And guess yeah. what? They want to see what you're doing and, you know, how you're holding the open house. And they're, they're, they may not be interviewing you, like, consciously, but subconsciously they're like, all right, like, this house looks great. The presentation is great. You're dressed up nice and you have, you know, you're, you're talking to them. They're, they're, they're taking note of all this stuff, right? Definitely. And you booked two listing appointments. They weren't even buyer appointments. They were listing appointments on that, on that uh, open house. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And like you said, like, you know, people walk in there, they're taking a look at the staging. You know, we could tell them a little bit about what we did, like, you know, the minor facelifts we did to the house to increase value. Yeah. And, you know, it's really incredible that we've been able to break so many, you know, price per square footage, you know, records. Records, yeah. <laughs> yeah, in so many areas. Um, yeah. So, you know, again, the more information you could give them, you know, the, the better. You know, yeah, and, the better. And, and what is a script that we've been using for um, at least getting some buyer appointments, talking about uh, the how they, you know, how their agent is presenting an offer. So tell us about that, that script. Right. So, I mean, there are a few things. I mean, if they don't have, if they don't have an agent, you know, you could always ask them how they are, you know, finding properties. Yeah. And most of the time they're going to say Zillow or Redfin. What mm -hmm. they don't know is that us using the MLS, we have, you know, uh, we have access to those listings before it goes out on Zillow or Redfin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's really attractive to them. And also mm -hmm. a lot of the time they don't, they're not viewing off market properties. Yeah. Um, so that's another thing we could offer. And 10, I think you said 10% of, you know, yes. every sold is off market. Yeah. And that's, that's a pretty big number. Mm -hmm. Um, so, you know, automatically I think, you know, they're like, oh, we're missing out on so much because yeah. we don't have an agent. We don't have anybody mm -hmm. representing us and bringing us these properties. Um, you know, if they do have an agent, uh, you know, it's, it's important to know how they're presenting their offers. A lot of these people are coming in and they've been looking for homes for like six months already and they mm -hmm. haven't had any progress or yeah. nothing, um, you know, which is incredible. So you have to kind of wonder like what it is that their agent is doing mm -hmm. that they're not able to find or, you know, get a home. Yeah. Obviously it's tough. Obviously it's a seller's market, but you know, you just have to learn how to be competitive. Um, and uh, like you said, there are so many agents out there that just like, half-ass everything, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I told you we got eight offers on Lana. And from those eight offers, four of the agents didn't even call me after they submitted the offer. Right. Or even, like, before. They just emailed us the offer. And, you know, again, this, it, 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 it happens all the time. Mm -hmm. But we, we just provide a much higher level of service. That's, right. that's, our, that's the value that, that we bring. There's so many agents out there for... for for people to pick, right? So right. my goal as a team leader is to provide systems in, in, in place that will make you guys more valuable to anybody you talk to. Because if you, you talk to 99% of the buyers, when we tell them that we, we submit their offer on a website and it has uh, their proof of funds, their PDF, like all this stuff super organized and we show this to them and they're like, this is how we present our offers. Not only that, but we're, we are on top of the listing agent telling them we're going to get this deal closed. We will, you know, have our, um, we will have the lender call you directly to let you know that this buyer is solid and they're going to close that scroll. We do all these things because we know how important it is for the listing agent who has a huge influence on the seller. We know how important it is for them to feel like this, 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 uh, agent feels really solid. Like they may not be the highest offer, but I feel like they're, they're going to close this deal. That's the most important part because a seller doesn't want to come back on the market. They'll lose momentum, which means they'll, they're going to lose a, a lot of, a lot of money. So not picking the highest price isn't always in the best interest of the seller. 
if the listing agent feels that that highest offer is not going to pan out. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, if you guys have any questions, let us know. It's already 103 and we've been out here for about half an hour. Thank you, Tara, so much for getting on IG Live. I know that's maybe a little bit weird if it's your first IG Live, but you did great. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'm ready for it. my close-up, Mr. Salazar. Thank yes, you. good job. <laughs> um, if you guys have any questions, let, let me know now or let us know, let, uh, let Tara and I know. Um, I'm sure you have a, a few friends here that are probably gonna be excited to chat with you about your, your, your career. Chris says, thank you. Ruya says, thumbs up. Um, Seth PC from Mexico says, hey bro, how you been? I've been good, man. I've been great. Thank you for asking. Seth PC is a realtor uh, in, a, I think, in Puebla, Mexico. Um, and Joe Kotash, of course, says, you're a great speaker, Paul. Thank you so much, <laughs> Joe. I appreciate it, bro. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you next Thursday. Uh, we're going to be interviewing my second agent on my team, Alex Rubo. I'm excited about that. And then the following week, we will um, have, actually, the following week is Thanksgiving. So we're not having an IG Live then. But the week after that, we'll be interviewing uh, Ruya, uh, another agent on my team. And then the weekend after that, we'll be interviewing Katie Jack. So <laughs> awesome. Uh, Ellie F. June, who is on here the whole time. Thanks. Says, Thank so you. informative. Thank you. Can't wait for my appointment with Tara next week. Yes. <laughs> All right, Ellie, don't forget that she's going to be booking an appointment with you. So you, you, you better say yes. Get ready. She got, she got some goals. Uh, and Alex Rubo has a little emoji about a beast. You want to tell them the story about the beast? Uh, totally. Well, Paul's always telling us to uh, get into beast mode. We got to be manly. So he yes. said, so No, I didn't say manly. I said get into your masculine. <laughs> masculine. So yes. we're all working on our beards. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Thanks, Bye. Guys. Bye, guys.